Hi, welcome to TechWonk Tutorials. The question is, can Android Nugget 7.0 can be installed on any Android phone? Well, the answer is yes. In this video you will learn to install Nugget 7.0 on almost any Android device. We will first root the device and then install TWRP recovery. Then we will install an aftermarket firmware called Lineage OS, which is Android Nugget 7.0. Then we will install GAPS. GAPS are Google applications and usually includes Play Store, Gmail, Google Calendar, and more. I will provide all download links in below description. Before I start tutorial, I will request you to subscribe to our channel so that I can bring you more wonderful video tutorials. To subscribe to our channel is absolutely free, there is no charge. Today I am going to show you how to root any device in just 5 minutes without unlocking the bootloader or installing a custom recovery. The good thing about this method is that it is 100% safe so you don't have to worry about breaking your device. So let's get started. There is an app which is developed by Kingroot by using which you can root almost every Android device within minutes and it is 96% effective. But before starting the routing process, let me show you that my device is not rooted yet. Now let's start the process. First download the apk file of the app and install it. Then open the app. After opening the app, it will check the basic information of your device like what is the model and android version. Before starting with the routing process, make sure your internet connection is on, otherwise it will not work. Now click on try to root option, then the app will start downloading the necessary files which will be required for rooting your device and it will automatically root your device. It will take around 5 minutes to finish the process so just wait. It may also reboot your device so don't worry it's normal. Now after the process is finished, your device has been successfully rooted. Just check your root status by using root checker app. You can also download Super SEO app from the Play Store to take control over your root permissions. In Android device, custom recovery help you to perform lots of tasks such as install custom ROM, flash mod zip files, flash super su and more. Without custom recovery, you can't do such type of task on your Android devices. All Android mobile and tablet come with a pre-installed stock recovery but the stock one offers very basic functions and it will not help you to install and flash other ROMs on your device. To perform these kind of advanced level function, you need a custom recovery and one of the most powerful custom recovery is TWRP recovery or TWRP recovery which has a very simple UI and easy to use functions. Recently TWRP recovery team has released their official app through which you can easily install TWRP recovery on Android devices. And it is a universal method so it will work on almost any Android device which is supported. But make sure your device is rooted which is the only prerequisite of this method. So now with that being said, let's start. First head over to the play store and type TWRP. After that, select this official TWRP app and install it. Once the installation gets complete, open the TWRP app and enable root access if it is asking to. Now click on the TWRP flash option. After that it will ask you to select device. There are tons of device which is officially supported by TWRP so I think you will definitely find your build. To find TWRP recovery for your device, you can either type the name of your device or you can simply scroll to search it. In my case, I am searching TWRP recovery for my OnePlus 2. Once you select your device, all available TWRP recovery image version for your device will be listed. Grab the latest version and download it in your internal storage. Once the download gets completed, go back to the app and tap on select a file to flash and then select the image file and tap on flash. As soon as you will tap on flash, flashing will start and it will be completed within a fraction of second. You won't even get any notification. So now to confirm that TWRP is installed on your device or not, simply boot your device into recovery mode. 
and as you can see my device is successfully booted into TWRP recovery with the same version 3.0.2-2 which I flashed. So guys this is the simplest way to install TWRP recovery on any Android device. So if you want to try out this new lineage OS on your supported devices then do watch this video till the end because in this video I am going to show you a full step by step tutorial to install lineage OS on almost any android device. And it is a universal method so no matter which device you have unless you have an iPhone. You can just follow these simple steps and install lineage OS on your android devices. The prerequisites are first. You should have an unlocked boot loader and I guess most of you guys know that if you are not new to custom ROM installation. But if you don't know how to unlock the boot loader then there is a place on internet called Google which will definitely help you out. Second, you should have a pre-installed custom recovery like TWRP recovery which I personally prefer due to its simple UI and it's very easy to use. After you have both these things done, it means you are ready to rock. So for the installation part, you will need two files. One of them is romzip file and other one is gapps package. To get the romzip file, I will leave the download link in the description box. From there you can download the romzip file for your supported device. And to get the gapps package, you will have to go to the official website and then select the right package. Here you will find several CPU architectures, so first make sure what is the architecture of your SoC and if you don't know the exact architecture of your device, then you know where to find. Now once both the files are downloaded, put them in the internal memory of your device. After that switch off your device and boot it into the TWRP recovery and for that there is a specific key combination of power and volume keys which varies according to the device. But don't worry. Here is some key combinations for some major OEMs. For Samsung, for Google, for OnePlus, for Xiaomi, for Moto, for LG, and for HTC. So after successfully booting up into TWRP recovery, the first thing which I always recommend is to make a backup of your current ROM. Because in case you don't like the custom ROM or you want to go back to your stock ROM, then just go to the restore section and from there you can restore the previous ROM, it's as simple as that. So after making the backup, go back and click on wipe to wipe the system partitions and make your device ready for the ROM installation. Once it is done, go back and click on install and navigate the ROM zip file which we downloaded earlier. After that click on add more zip and select gapps package. Make sure to select the ROM zip file first and then the gapps package. Otherwise your ROM will not install and you may break your device. After selecting both the files in right order, swipe this blue button to right to flash the ROM. It will take approximately 5 to 10 minutes depending on your device. Once the installation is finished, reboot your device and again the first boot will take more time than the normal boot. So just grab a cup of coffee and relax. Now after the boot is finished, you have successfully upgraded your device to Nougat. Just complete the setup process and enjoy the new Lineage OS which will definitely remind you of Cyanogen mod with the same UI and design. So guys that's it for this video, hope you guys will like it and if you do, then don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more coming videos like this, then do subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one.